Tam O'Shanter, a tale. When Chapman Billies leave the street, and Druthy neighbours neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late, and folk begin to tuck the gate, whilst we sit boozing at the nappy, getting foo and unco happy, we think now on the lang Scots miles, the mosses, water, slaps and styles, that lie between us and our hame, where sits our sulky, sullen dame. Gathering our brews like gathering storm, nursing our wrath to keep it warm. This truth fand honest Tam O'Shanter, as he frae air a nicht did canter, all air war ne'er na tune surpasses, for honest men and bonny lasses. O Tam, had thou but been sae wise, and tain thou ain wife Kate's advice, she told thee weel thou was a skellum, a bletherm, blusterm, drunken blelum, that frae November till October, a market day, thou wasna sober. An ill camelder with a miller, thou sat as long as thou had siller, and every nag was card a shoe on, the smith and thee got roaring foo on. And at the ladies' house, even on Sunday, thou drank with Kirkton Jean till Monday. She prophesied that later soon thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catched with warlocks in the murk by Alloway's all haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsel sweet, how many lengthened sage devices the husband for the wife despises. But to our tale, a market necht, Tam had got planted on correct, fast by an ingle bleasing finely, where Eamon sats that drank divinely, and at his elbow, Suter Joni, his ancient, trusty, druthy crony. Tam lewed him like a very brother. They had been foo for weeks together. The night drave on with songs and clatter, and I, the ale was grown better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with secret favours, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tom didn't mind the storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man say happy, he drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee him with lades of treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tom was glorious. Where are the ills o' life victorious? But pleasures are like poppies spread. Ye seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white, then melts forever. Or like the borealis rate, race that flit ere you can't point the place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time nor tide, that hour approaches, Tam man ride, that hour o' nights black arch the key stain, that dreary hour he mounts his beast in, and sick a nicht he tucks the rod in, as ne'er a person was abroad in. The wind blew as it twould blan its last, the rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Will planted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tom scalp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst hidden fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scotch sonnet, whilst glove him ruin with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was cross the ford, or in the snar the chapman smurred, and past the bucks in meekle stain, or drunken chairly tch, brat next bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, or hunter's fun, a murdered bairn, and near the thorn, a bin the well, or mongo's mither, <gasps> hanged herself. Before him doon pours all his floods, the Dublin storm roars through the woods, the lightnings flash from pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll, when glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a blaze. The, through Ilka Boar the beams were glancing, and loud resounding mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, 
Oh, what dangers thou can mock us scorn. We tip any, we fear nae evil. We usker be, we'll face the devil. The swats he reamed in Tommy's noddle. Fair play he card nae deals a bottle. But Maggie, she stood, right sair, astonished. Until by heel and hand admonished, she ventured forth into the licht. And wow, Tom saw an unco say. Warlocks and witches in a dance. Ne cotillon brent new for France, but hornpipes, jigs, surfaces, and reels put life and metal in their heels. A win at bunker in the east, there sat all neck in shape a beast, a toozy tyke, black, grim, and large. To give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them scuttle till roof and rafters are did dirl. Coffins stood ring like open presses and shod the deed in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in his call hand held a light, by which heroic Tom was able to note upon the haley table, a murderer's banes and gibbet urns, twa span long wee on crescent berms, a thief new cutted for the rape, with his last gasp, <gasps> his gob did gape, five tomahawks with blood redrusted, Five scimitars we murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a feather's throat had mangled, for whom his own son or life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft, and mere o oh, horrible and awful, which even to name would be unlawful. <coughs> As Tommy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They wheeled, they set, they crossed, they cleeked till Ilka, Carl and Swat and Wicked and Custer Doddies to the wark and linky daddied in her sark. Now Tom, oh Tom, had they been queens a ah, plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks instead of Crecy Flynn and been snow white seventeen hunder linen. Their breeks of mine, my only pair that yens were plush or keen blue hair, I would have given them off my hardies for ye blink o' oh, their bonny birdies. But weather beldams, all the droll, rig with hags with spina foal, louping and flinging on a crummock, I wonder didn't I turn my stomach. But Tom kent what was what foo brawly, there was ye winsome wench and wally, that nicht enlisted in the core, long after kend and carrick shore, for money a beast to then she shot and perished money a bonny boat, and shook beth meekle corn and beer, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark o' paisley harm, the while a lassie she had worn, in longitude the sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vanty. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny with twa pun scots, twas a her riches, would ever grace to dance o' witches. But here my muse, her wing mon cure, sick flights are far beyond her poor, to sing her nanny lap and flarn, as supple jade she was in strong. And how Tom stood like yin bewitched and thought his very een enriched. Even Satan glowered and fedged foo fain and hotched and blew we micht and main till first ye caper, sin another tam tint his reason a together and roars out, Well done, cutty sark! And in an instant I was dark, and scarcely had he muggy rallied when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees bezout with angry fike when plundering herds assail their bike, as open pussies mortal foes when pop she starts before their noses, eager runs the market crowd when catch the thief! resounds aloud. So Maggie runs, the witches follow with money and elderly screech and holler. Ah, oh, Tom, ah, oh, Tom, thou get thy fairn in hell, thou roast thee like a hern. In vain thy Kate awaits thy common Kate, sin will be a oh, wolf a woman. Now do thy speedy utmost Meg and win the keys to know the brig. There at them thou they tell me toss a run and stream they dare na cross. But ere the key stain she could make, the faint the tales you had to shake, for Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tom with furious ettle. But little wist she Maggie's mettle, ye spring broke off her master heel, but left behind her ain grey tail. The carlin clocked her with a rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, wha this tale of truth shall read, elk man and mother son to kid, Whene'er to drink ye are inclined, or 
Cody sacks run in your mind. Think ye may buy the joys are dear. Remember Tom Shanter's mare.